Hello, my name's Hugh Williams, and I'm here to share the results of a study of our program, See Us in Schools, a new program in Australia that's designed to give every student in secondary school the opportunity to learn how to code. It's estimated by Deloitte in a study that they did with the Australian Computer Society that there's going to be 100,000 new IT jobs in Australia by 2024. However, right now, only around 3,000 to 4,000 IT graduates graduate each year from Australian universities. If you look at the experience in secondary school, for example, in Queensland, one of the states here in Australia, you'll find that around 2,000 final year students in secondary school study the most popular information technology or digital technology course. This is around half the number that we'd see in a course such as drama or accounting, and around one tenth of the number of students that we'd see in a mainstream science course such as biology. So why do so few students study digital technology in the final year of secondary school in Australia? Well, a survey of around 400 Australian schools in August found that around 96% have had trouble hiring qualified technology teachers. 39% of schools have reduced the amount of technologies education that they offer, and 68% of the schools that still offer technologies education believe that the quality of the programs has also been affected by the shortage of teachers. This is in the face of digital technology becoming compulsory in Australia. In most states, digital technology is compulsory from K through to 10. To address this problem, we created CS in Schools, a completely free and open program for Australian schools. We don't charge schools or teachers to participate in any way, and we're funded through philanthropic donation and with the generous support of RMIT University. We help teachers become confident and skilled in teaching digital technology in the classroom. We do this so that teachers can engage younger students who might later choose digital technology in secondary school and hopefully then increase the pipeline of students who study computing in university and ultimately address the skills gap here in Australia. CS in schools consists of a number of components. The first are our free and open lessons. You can visit those at year7.io. Our program is a 20 hour program designed to be covered at the pace of two hours per week for 10 weeks. It's a flexible program that includes optional supplementary lessons and it's designed to be taught in varied timetables, such as across semesters, terms, and sometimes in more or less than two hours per week. Our year seven program is an introduction to the fundamentals of coding and is taught using the Python programming language. We introduce input, output, decisions, loops, and a little bit more. Perhaps the best way to understand our program is to take a look at an example of a capstone project completed by a young student named Holly at one of the schools here in Victoria. Students imagine, design and build their own text adventure game. Um, you can see here the use of a while loop, if statements and the development of what's really a simple state machine. Around a thousand students completed the program in 2019, so that's a thousand different adventure games that have been written, ranging from the more typical as you've seen here, to sports games, reality TV games, and all sorts of science fiction. Uh, in addition to learning coding skills in our course, students learn the basics of computational thinking and algorithms, and they learn how to represent their thinking in diagrams and flowcharts, and to desk check and think through the execution of their code. We use, a, we use an environment called REPL IT, which is a cloud-based coding environment that supports most popular programming languages. And it includes a classroom feature, which allows students to submit work, get feedback from their teacher, and for the teaching team to monitor progress and assign work to students. You can see me playing this game uh, here on the screen and dying a couple of times. And you'll see me in the end here escape with a broken ankle and successfully complete the game. In addition to building and releasing our free and open teaching materials, we've designed and built a world-class professional development experience for teachers. We support teachers' professional development through the use of volunteers. Our volunteers are computing professionals and they're typically sourced from some of Australia's largest technology firms. These firms release their computing professionals for around two hours per week to support a 
teacher in the classroom for a period of two terms. So a typical volunteer experience is around 40 hours of classroom time supporting a teacher. In the first term that a teaching team works together of a volunteer and a teacher, we typically find that the computing professional spends time out the front of the class explaining coding concepts to both the students and the teacher, while the teacher supports the students throughout the classroom. In the second term, what we typically find is that the teacher plays a more active role out the front of the classroom and the volunteer becomes a mentor and coach supporting the teacher in, the, in their development of the content skills. After two terms, teachers graduate from the program and typically then begin repeating the program again without our uh, active support. Our pilot in 2019 was with 10 teachers from eight schools. Six of the schools were based in Melbourne, the second largest city in Australia, and two of the schools were in a rural country town of around 15,000 people in population. Uh, we have schools from the public system, from the private or independent system, and also from the Catholic education system. The teachers were supported by 12 volunteers and around two thirds of those volunteers were early career computer scientists and the remaining four had significant experience ranging from five to 25 years of experience. Volunteers before they participate in the program attend a workshop. It's a two day workshop and it's designed to equip them with the skills to be successful in a school classroom. Seven of the eight schools in our 2019 pilot have returned to the program for 2020, and we've recruited another 14 schools into the program for a total of 27 campuses that we offer CSN schools on in 2020. We have around three teachers per school or two and a half teachers per campus right now, and our volunteer team has grown up to around 50 folks in size, and our teacher team is just around 60 teachers. There's about 4,000 students who will take the program this year. And because I'm recording this video in June 2020, we've in fact almost completed the professional development program for this year. We're carrying out a quantitative study this time around and we'll look forward to sharing the results of that in the future. Next year in 2021, we plan to expand the program to around 80 schools and 180 teachers. And we hope to offer the program on a trial basis in every state in Australia. Our long-term goal is to create the capability for all 2,700 schools in Australia that offer secondary school programs to teach coding to their students. Well, thank you for listening to this presentation today. If you'd like to learn more about our work at CS in Schools, just head over to the URL csinschools.com. Thank you.